Okay, so the new update of Procreate has been released and there's a bunch of features that looks very interesting in it. And we're gonna check that out together. But first thing first, I'm gonna be a little bit angry about the Procreate team. So if you want to skip that angry part, just go to that part of the video where I will be talking about the new features. But now, let's go to the angry part. There is still no fucking text tools. Seriously. Procreate guy, what do you need for including that into your app? We are in 2018. There is a bunch of good drawing apps out there like Affinity Photo, Sketchbook, Clip Studio and soon Affinity Designer that's gonna arrive on the iPad Pro. But when I want to write something into my drawing, it is just so complicated in Procreate. I asked to the Instagram profile of Procreate about that and I got a very laconic response. If you'd like to see these tools, let us know on the INS board on our website. Smiley face. There is a topic on your own website that has been seen by 400,000 followers, commented by 152 people, and you just still consider it? Well, there is only 60,000 people that have been viewing the clipping mask uh, topics, and you are planning to do it. What the heck? Are you too lazy for implement that tool or what? Did font or letters have done something wrong to you when you were a child? Already, I don't get that. Do you want to see how am I doing for putting text into your application? Okay, I'm gonna show you three way at least to do it. First, I can then write it. But hey, first I need to make my guidelines, which is a kind of a pain in the ass because there is no uh, shape tools in Procreate 2. So first, I need to make my lines, then duplicate them, then when I have enough of it, I can just start to make my text. But it takes a lot of time to do that. It's very time consuming. So it brings us to another solution. I can use app like Over. For making it work, I need first to export my art, then load it into Over, and then write my text and then export it again. But hey, what happens if I need to make a change into my illustration? Ha <laughs> ha I can't because my file now is flattered. So I don't have my layer anymore. So can I just use the text I have done in Over and then import it in Procreate, right? Yep, I can, but check what happened. The text cover the whole drawing. Of course, it is because it is on the top. And what happens if I am lowering it down a bit? It disappears. So I need to use automatic selection, select the white color, then clear it, and then I have my text that appear. But if I want to make a change, or if I have misspelled the word, which is happening often to me, I have to say, I need to redo all that process again. I have paid 10 bucks for a very good illustrations apps, don't get me wrong, but that illustration app can't handle text. Which is like having the best car ever made, let's say a Lamborghini for example, and can't drive it because you have no wheels. So it leads us to another solution. Just open another drawing app into your iPad and make your text in it. But finally the same problem happen again if I want to change some stuff on my art. So I am ending up at the moment by just making my lines into Procreate and then after that export it into Affinity Photo or Sketchbook, make the coloring on it and make the text in it. Which leads me to not use Procreate that much anymore when I am doing illustrations that are requiring text in it. Which is kinda happening often to me, you know? So what's the moral of this? Put that putain the text tool in your application putain. It has been a bunch of years I am using your app. I was using your app before the Apple Pencil even exists. I was using your app when we were painting on the screen of an iPad just with your fingers. So I think it is long enough for you to finally implement that function in your application. Not putting that function into your application is like continuously spitting in the face of the people that have made your success. So just put that fucking text tool in it, that's it. That being said, so now let's take the new features. 2D and isometric grid are here, and this is a very good stuff. We can now work on new type of grid, which will be particularly useful for making some kind of illustrations and also some game design for isometric 2D games like uh, Monument Valley or RPG like the old Zelda for example. It works with the drawing guide, which is very good too. It can allow you like that to make very easy and fast drawing. But again, if in this example I was ending up by drawing a shop with a sign at the top having the name of the shop, I will not be able to edit the text because there is no text tools. Yeah, I'm very angry about that. The 2D grid will be very useful for me though, more than the isometric grid. I'm doing at the moment a little video game and I was doing it on some software on PC because there were no uh, 2D grid into Procreate. But now I can also work on my iPad on the go, which is very good. And it also means you can possibly do pixel art with Procreate now, which can be very fun to do. And if you combine the art you can do with the 2D grid and the warp tool you can use for distorting it, 
you can end up on some very interesting things. And now that we are speaking about the warp tools, first I want to say that I wasn't really expecting that those new tools will work with all drawing. I mean by that I was thinking that it will need probably to trigger them just before to create a new canvas and it's not the case. So this is something really good that I want to underline here because it's a very cool thing. After that I think this warp tool is the most interesting feature in that update, no doubt. I can see all the advantages of having that tool in Procreate. Like I say I'm working on a 2D video game and I can see the warp tool like a way to pre-animate my drawing, like for example the characters, like you can do in some other animation software like Spine. There is no animation tools in Procreate though, at least for the moment, so this will not end by making animation right in Procreate, but it can be something very useful for me anyway. And also in illustration it can help you to find the right movement for certain elements of your drawing. So this is a very nice touch to the app I think. Next, Liquify. To be honest, apart from adding some kind of texture to things, I wasn't really getting that tools in a illustrator perspective, I mean. I can see for sure, like the name can tell, that you can use that for recreating the movement of water or things touched by water or everything that is liquid at some point. But I just don't really know if it is something that can just be useful to me. I don't know if it's something that I will use regularly or just once in a while, but let's see. In the same way that the warp tools, I have used it on all drawing and that works perfectly fine. So again, this is a good thing. For now, I just don't know what to think about it really. I can see the logic of that tools, but I can't place it into my workflow. Anyway, if someone out there can tell me more about that, I will be happy to read that actually. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy to have those functions now, but I'm still very pissed off of not having the text tools. I really start to think that the Procreate team just don't care about that at all. The Instagram example is flagrant for me. They say to you to tell them on the ID and suggestion topics, but they are planning to make features that are less required than this one, which is making no sense. So I really do hope that they're gonna implement that text tools finally, but unfortunately it will be at least not for for one year. So so it means one year of using other application for dealing with letters or just using other application at all and just forget about Procreate, which will be a shame because I think those tools they have bring are really good. Yesterday Affinity Designer has been released and I think that now I'm gonna use that app for making my drawing because that app has everything I need to make my drawing because it has everything for doing the illustration, the graphic parts, but also has these text tools. So yeah, I'm coming to an end with Procreate which is very sad because it's like six years I'm using that app at least, but they still don't implement that tools. I also have to say that Affinity Designer is in kind of the same range of price that Procreate, at least for the moment, because it has been released. So I think it is a better deal to buy Affinity Designer and work in it than work in Procreate because of the lack of that text tools again. This is crazy how they are just like ruining their own app by just not putting a single single function that is missing a lot to a lot of people. So yeah that was my kind of review of that update. It is not a major update to me though. It would have been a major update if the text tool was in it. Just saying. But it brings anyway some new interesting features into Procreate. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video or if you're also very pissed off to not have the text tool in Procreate. You can subscribe to my channels. This is my first video in English because I was looking to be heard by the, the Procreate team but now I'm gonna continue to post a regularly video in English also on my channels. I'm making video in English and in French but whatever the language I'm always making a video weekly and it's always about drawing. I just want to thank you for watching. I will see you next week and don't forget keep creating.